Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about, um, mostly about cross-pollination and self-pollination, and kind of the difference in uh, the type of trees that you can grow from seed and, and what you're going to get. Is it gonna be true to type or is it gonna be wildly different? Okay, so we'll, we'll hit a couple of those things. Uh, real quick though, last time we covered scarification and stratification, so if you're, if you're not familiar with those, go back to plant propagation too. Um, and, and so again, self-pollination versus cross-pollination, and all that simply means is, do you need a, um, another tree or plant um, to, to cross-pollinate in, in order to get fruit, okay, with the flowers, and, and the, you know, I won't go into too, too much detail with that. Um, or can that tree do it itself? Does it have the male and female parts on that same tree in order to get fruit? Okay, so let's take a look here real quick. There's advantages and disadvantages to each of these. And what we have here is we've got, say, we've got a peach tree here growing from seed, we've got ap uh, apricot growing from seed, and then I've got apple growing from seed. So if we take apple, <clears throat> apple requires cross-pollination. So cross-pollination, you know, again, um, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna plant that seed, I'm gonna grow those trees, and I'm gonna get apples, uh, but it, they're likely not going to uh, mimic the characteristics of their parents, at least not fully. Okay, so I'm not going to get true to type C, but I, I'll probably get a good apple. Now the advantage of that is you get genetic diversity, and um, it, in, in theory it should be a little bit more resistant to pest and disease. Okay, as opposed to self-fertile trees, and I'm, again I'm using the peach and the apricot here as an example. These are self-fertile, okay, so most varieties. So they, they will have largely the parent parental characteristics of being self-fertile. So in other words, if I, if I um, uh, plant a land peach or whatever type of peach, I should get very close to a land type peach uh, from this tree. Uh, it, it'll be close. So again, the, the advantages to self-pollination are that you get more true to type uh, trees and bushes. Um, uh, but the disadvantage is, is it, they, they tend to move towards a little bit more pe pest and disease uh, prone, a prone state. Okay, so that's, that's again, that's a nut, in a nutshell, self-pollination versus cross-pollinization. Uh, with, with fruit trees, and again, our, our apple is a great example of it requires cross-pollinization, and then um, apricot. Uh, peach and, and plum, the European style varieties uh, generally are self fertile, so you will likely get most of the characteristics of the parent by planting them from seed. So it's just important to understand that when propagating plants. All right, so join us or visit us at www.thepreparedhomestead.org. Thanks.